Why don't we discuss the details as to exactly how I found the lovely Charlotte until later? All that matters is that you're safe and unharmed. Thanks to Grandpa Victor. Mm-hmm. And I promise we're going to keep you safe. Peter August is going to be very sorry for what he did to you. Very sorry. When I got to town, I took on the Quartermans and I made an enemy out of Brooklyn. And it cost me my place in the Quartermain family and it almost cost me my place here at General Hospital. So I gather you were looking for payback? Yes, I was. So I approached Valentine and I thought maybe we could join forces and plot some kind of revenge against Brooklyn. And somehow his father, Victor, managed to insert himself. <laughs> yeah, no surprise there. Victor never met a revenge plot that he didn't like. So Victor came to me with this sonogram that he said he found on the street and all of the personal information was missing. And I told him how he could find out who the sonogram belonged to. I see. And somehow the sonogram led Victor to realize that Brooklyn's baby I'm, is really Max's I'm, I'm baby. assuming. I don't know who else would have passed off that kind of information to Peter August. What I don't understand is why it mattered to Victor. Well, Victor and Peter August formed an alliance in Greece. So whatever matters to Peter August... Like finding his daughter. ...would also matter to Victor. And if Victor could find out Louise's whereabouts, he could use that information against Peter to get him to do whatever he wanted. What, like what? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. No, Peter, I'll go with you. There is no catch, I promise. What, all the while plotting to run off with our child the first chance it arrives? I can't just jump into your arms and say that all is forgiven and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. No, I, I didn't think so. But I, I think if we get out of Port Charles, away from the place that brought out the worst in you, you will, you will start to become the man that I fell in love with again. The one who was kind and considerate, talked me off the ledge when I was spinning or made me laugh when I wanted to pull my hair out. The one, the one I trusted and believed in. Max, yes, I swear to you, on our daughter's life, that will happen. I will be the best man and husband for you and Louise that a man could possibly be. Not Louise. Excuse me? I'll go with you, Peter, whenever. Tonight, right now. But if you love our daughter as much as you say you do, you'll understand why we have to leave her behind.